first of all, I would say that, I mean, you're going to have to start at the beginning the way you did at the beginning. But I, um, I think that I, I would. So what did you do in the beginning? Right. Like you had to have a little bit of branding. You had to have a landing page. You I think I maybe wrote some little notes here to myself. So I made a couple of notes. So you had to have some branding. You had to have a landing page. You needed a freebie. You did some list building. You had an offer ultimately, right? And so I, I would still do all of those things. I wouldn't worry about making it the biggest, most robust anything, like a very simple landing page that talks about whatever your freebie is, right? And what is the freebie going to be? Your first freebie is going to be to, you've already got content for the teenagers. What would your first online class look like? Your first free webinar. I mean, that's where, that's where, where you would start is like thinking, or, all right, what is the first content we want to put out there? And, you know, just some basic branding, you know, a basic landing page, making sure you're able to capture the email addresses and a very simple three email nurture sequence. Okay. This is just the very, very beginning. But what's cool is that, and I meant to do a Venn diagram, but I can explain it as well as I could show it. And that is obviously, I mean, you have a huge email list for your Christian brand and not all of those people are going to be interested in the health brand, but there is going to be some overlap. So I would keep the messaging not related to, I would keep it, I personally would keep it separate, separate and agnostic. It's not about that. It's about mm -hmm. health and wellness. Okay. There's going to be some overlap with your existing audience and that audience already knows, likes, and trusts you. So this is a good place to start because, um, uh, not that you want to keep marketing to them, but to, just to announce to these people who already love you, like, hey, we're, we're adding this other thing and we're developing these programs. would love to have you join us. It's free. Come check it out. And then this is going to really give you great feedback um, as to whether or not you're on the right track, what kind of you know, you'll just, you'll, you'll be in a feedback loop and you'll be able to, to make changes and create more um, and hear what their questions are because you'll probably start with outside of the teenagers. I would imagine, I'm just guessing that your most media, if there's concentric circles, your most, the closest circle to you would be women your age, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so- that's also kind of who's in your Christian community. So mm -hmm. th there is some overlap, um, although you will want to build a completely separate audience. But, you know, it doesn't have to take, you know, it doesn't have to take forever to do this. It really is going to be all about how quickly you get your um, your first lead magnets up and just start bringing the people in. Just start talking about it. Start doing the trainings and see, see what happens. And that will then lead you to what your offer is going to be. But for now, I wouldn't even think about monetizing. I mean, obviously you're going to, but you, you don't have to think about it now. Now just think about how can I help them? What is really going to be valuable to them? And let me just give it to them and, and just do it. Like and, through email, you mean? Like just come up with like trainings just to send them through email? Yeah, have them I would, them? I would do like I mean, workshops. Yeah, I would do, I would, I would do like zoom calls and then you'll start building community with that as well. I wouldn't even do a webinar. I like the idea of being able to see their faces. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everybody being able to see each other. And uh, I would start with some zoom webinars that are going to be like, you know, how to, I don't know, something menopause related or, or stress or, or eating or, yeah. or whatever, but some juicy topic. And, um, and you're, I, I don't know if you're allowed, here's the thing though, are you going to be allowed to use your MD at the end of your name for this? Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Because, I mean, I'm a doctor. I'm just not their doctor. All right. I mean, I don't know what the rules are, you know, with you being able to, but I mean, if you, I mean, gosh, yeah. I'm thinking about all I the doctors I know who do trainings online and there's a lot of them. So, yeah. I mean, I did look into this and I can't, I don't give specific 
uh, medical advice to specific people, like for their specific case. But I certainly can give generalized advice based on what I have been learned, what I've learned and am continuing to learn. Yeah, great. Well, that gives you a leg up. My goodness. You know what I mean? Like credibility check, you know, so um, so I would definitely be, you know, Dr. Jen Evangelista, Jen Evangelista, MD, like that MD, I would make it real big. Um, I mean, I just, but yeah, I, I would do, I would do, I would come up with like three live trainings that you could do like over okay. the next three months, you know, if that, that, if you could do one a week, that'd be great. But let's just say one a month feels like doable to you come yeah, up yeah. with three of those and then do them more than once. Even, you know, you could do that one training, you know, three different times that month and play around with, you know, whatever time zones work for you and just, just get it going. And then the email comes in with, they had to give you their email to sign up. You're going to send them the replay in email number one and, um, and a couple of other emails that might give them links to some helpful things based on what you discuss. Your third email would maybe invite them to the next training that you have coming up. I, I hesitate to tell you to start a Facebook group, but you could also do that mm -hmm. as well. But I think right now before you do that, and because you know that's a job, Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And since this is new and you're just kind of feeling like you want to put your toe in the water, I feel like just, just give them some great webinars and, um, and I, I wouldn't even necessarily create a Facebook business page for it yet, or an Instagram account or anything right now. I would just, just deliver this great stuff and, um, do it on your personal profile. You could do some Facebook stuff on your personal profile and then, if the first webinar feels really good and like, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I totally, I see where we're going with this. Then maybe do a business page and, mm -hmm. and start, you know, creating. some. So, so you recommend kind of talking, just talking to people about this topic before like working out any kind of a, a plan. Cause my, that that's kind of, that's kind of one of our holdups. Do we make it like a program? Do we make it another members do it? You know, how do we do this? Because um, I, that's that's what's so daunting with it i know that it's something that i feel like we need to be doing just based on the education part of it i'm pa very passionate about this particular part of the education but i don't know how to deliver it so so you're saying try these three things to just see where people are and what they kind of would want or need absolutely that's what i would do i wouldn't even worry about what it's going to be is it going to be a course is it going to be a membership is it going to be i would not do i would not I wouldn't even worry about that at all. I would just let this take shape from the most organic, valuable way that like we can build something like this is to get in front of people, as many people as possible and, and help them. Okay. The best way you can help them is on a live training. Okay. Okay. Which obviously if we do this, like just offering it, that means that we're really not building anything out in the back end. If it does get built out, you recommend keeping it completely separate, meaning different email account, everything, different, everything, right? uh, everything. I would not, it would be completely separate. And I'm going to link you, um, you can Google them, look for um, plantspiration.org and watch what this woman is doing. And, and then we could talk about it later. It's all, it's all about eating. It's all about how food is medicine and she's happens to be plant-based, but she, it has just been so much fun to watch her because all she did was she just like got out there and just started helping people. And I, I actually reached out to her and I'm like, you need some help. I need to be able to, I need to help you lady because you, <laughs> you are just, you know, uh, you're tearing it up, but like, you don't have any, you're not capturing any of this stuff. And I just helped her for free because I, I love what she's doing. But, um, so check her out and, okay. uh, and that's exciting. And I'm excited for you. So, so good luck. Thank you, Jan. All right. See you later.